Welcome back, anglers. I'm the Survival Vists, and we return to Russian Fishing 4, where before we get set up on this map, we are changing locations from Mosquito Lake, or Mosquito Lake to Winding Rivulet. So we're going to start on this map, try it out a bit. This is also going to be the map that will probably get better results spin fishing on, so that's exactly what we're going to start with. Although, truth be told, I want to try and find the administration building and see if I can pick up a map of this area quickly. Because I think each area has a few of the same, like, uh, things in place for it. Yeah, like, we've got a fish market right here. Uh, we've got the cafe right here. It looks like this might be administration right here because of those there. Yeah, okay. Oh, I guess I have to spend a little bit of money for the map, but I think it'll be worth it. Yeah, so that's where we are here. We've also got... Let me see. Okay, that's our tackle store. Uh, I'm guessing that's like the... Oh, workshop is right there. Uh, grocery store is there. Farmer's market. No, oh, okay. That's a little bit different. Uh, there's a hardware store right here. And is this... Sawmill? Oh, interest. Okay, I guess if you want to buy your wood to make your own lures, you could do so here. I was just looking around to see if I check the map. Okay, there's some stuff up there, too. I was just looking to see if, like, we had our own house. Because I noticed bottom left there, the comfort meter seems to be really low. I just don't know where our place might be to try to, like, recover that. Like, grocery store, if we need food for anything, that's all there. Uh, farmer's market is back there. Alright, that's administration. That's the tackle store. Oh, field kitchen. Okay, so weirdly enough, if you want the free bit of food like there was on the other map, that's where you get it from. But yeah, the only thing I'm not seeing is like the player's house. Unless it's maybe up here with everything. It is possible. But let me see. Okay. I think, y yeah, you was to check them, so... Let me actually see if I have a setup for, like, our... Ah, uh, spin fishing. I think it's the Express Corona there. Oh, I think it froze up just pulling the rod out. <laughs> Give it a moment. Yeah, there we go. Okay, yeah, so... This, I have absolutely lost all my idea, or, like, how uh, the setup kind of works for spin fishing. Like, I know the cast out, reel in, that's all pretty easy. It's once we actually, like, have something on, I'm trying to remember how it goes. And that, I'm pretty lost for it, so I do apologize that this might be a shorter episode, just trying to get a feel and bearing for, like, how this all plays out again. Or, well, proper, because, let's face it, I never really did spin fishing proper the first time that we got access to it in the tutorial. Well, we'll just keep going along with this and see if we can land anything. I don't know if I should let it sink down for a little bit and then reel in, or... Oh, increase the friction force to... S oh, there's something on. I didn't even realize. Okay, so if we lessen the break, I think that means the fish will... There'll be less tension on the line. Come on in, you. Oh, can I not... There we go. Oh, ooh, actually, that's kind of a fat perch, ain't it? Okay, well, we'll keep you. I didn't realize something was on, so... 
maybe I should actually let it, like, sink for a little bit. Oh, that's why if I don't, like, start reeling in right away, I think that's, like, the lure sinking down more. Yeah, the reel closes, and then that's kind of... Oh. Was there something on? Yeah, again... A lot of comments and tips came in for how to do the spin fishing proper and things like that, but I, it's been a couple, actually probably a little bit more than a couple of weeks now that they all were all coming in. But yeah, so much slipped by that I was focusing on just trying to make sure I had a decent enough understanding of the float fishing that I was able to say, okay, I've got a foundation in place, I can move along and try something else and it won't be too bad. And then the icon down at the bottom there, which is basically the reel on its, its side or standing up. It's basically like how much line has been left let out for... Oh. There was something there, I think. You know, that or it's just like... Ah, uh, the tension kind of tightening. I don't know if I should, like, just keep constantly reeling in and see, or I should just, uh, see if something will maybe strike it, like, on float fishing and bring in. This might be another just trial of error, or trial and error of whatever I kind of can and see what happens. Yeah, come on in, you. Okay, you know what? I'll head down for that little pier there. I think... That might be the better spot to try with. Yeah. Eh, or I could even try, like, down over this way, too. I'll start over here and see. And then I'll head down to, the, like, where that little dock is. Oh, I also forget that there is, like, a little notification you'll get on uh, the bottom bar there that kind of says, like, it's touching bottom. And yeah, I think all the tension that I've been seeing has been, like, it's just once the line actually finally connects to, like, be brought in. Although, I'm not sure why it's getting drawn in over there. Okay, well, let me try changing that up, because I do have a couple of different ones. So let's try this one. Yeah, so if I just leave it, eventually it should probably say, like, touching bottom down along the bottom there. At least I thought it would have. Unless maybe it... Oh! Okay, I'm trying to remember all the tips. I think it was, yeah, when the tension's getting to the yellow, just pump and hold that, and then once the tension eases off, that's when you can reel in. Or that's when you should be trying to reel in. There we go. And... Ooh. I think I'm getting hang of it a little bit. You, the friction brake part of it, I'm still probably going to have to have a lot of time. Uh, uh oh, oh, did it cut the hook or like the line? I don't know what happened. It's like.
Yeah, see, like, I've got no tension on it now, although... I'm not sure if I'm actually bringing it in or not. Yeah, I don't know what happened there, unless maybe there was, like... The friction brake was way too light and it dragged all of the line out. I should also check and see, like, what my real speed is set to. No, oh, so it's all good. Okay, what was... No, it wasn't Q. Was it Tab? No. It wasn't T, although I actually have a little bit of food or stuff I need. There's like a little shortcut menu that... I was able to pull it up once, but I can't remember what the key bind for it was. Let me quickly see. Uh, quick help. F1, that's it, I think. Yeah, there we go. So, retrieve speed is shift and left click. Uh, friction brake is mouse wheel. Retrieval speed is R plus mouse wheel. Okay. And enters to open or close. I'll just try this a little bit more and see. Like, I don't, I guess maybe the fish was just able to slip off the hook. Oh, there we go. Another little perch on. I'm not going to worry about checking uh, the cafe orders, just so that way I can get some time. Again, just trying this and seeing. Get a feel a little bit more of how it's going. I was just seeing if maybe I could, like, feather it and get something to try striking it. I don't think anything's interested on at this cast. Oh, never mind. We got somebody on. Come on in, you. Oh, an asp. Okay. I feel like that is our first time catching one. And we'll see if we can get lucky and get some more. Yeah, I'm not going to try setting up a float fishing rod at the same time, just because I feel like it'd be a little too chaotic. Although, truth be told, with how the float fishing rods are, even if I just had a single one set up, that might not be too troublesome to keep track of. I think for now... Okay, yeah. Let me just bring that right in. I should also look at about probably increasing the retrieval speed. So the friction brake is easy, just mouse wheel on its own, and the retrieval speed is using R and... How high can we make that? Oh, you can zoom with that! Okay, maybe I'll turn it down to 30. Try that. And we'll try along like this. We'll try a few more casts or that, see if we can try to get a few more fish, and change up with the other tackle that we've got. Because we've got a few different types right now, I think. Well, it does... actually, I should check and see. Okay, this is only supposed to be one meter deep. So it shouldn't take too long before the, like, the tackle would hit the bottom. I wonder if... Okay, yeah, so... I can probably change that out for that. Um... Yeah, I don't think... Th the leader, I think, was help is helpful in order to make sure, like, the fish can't bite through and... you lose the tackle as easily. I might try taking it off and see how it goes without it, because I thought I heard that could also impact, like, uh, your performance for trying to spin cast. But 
before I do, I think I'll just try a different lure. Uh, that's what we were using before. These are the two... Ah, let's try one of these. I don't think we've... Been tried... Or, I don't think we've tried this quite yet. Let me try just a 20. Maybe going a little slower, we'll... Get something after it. Yeah, nothing really striking on this go. You know, I'll keep it up to 30. I feel like I need to have, like, with some speed on it, just so that way the fish are interested. Let me try going down to that little pier that's over here. See if maybe this is like a little beginner fishing area. Beaver's Island. I guess just that little thing right up there. See, I don't know if there's actually any line being taken or line being taken out right now. It doesn't look like it. Yeah, nothing hit on that. Well, new longest cast, at least. I wonder if I... Again, I'm... Tr probably trying to bring some of what I know from Call of the Wild, the angler, into this, and that might be where I'm screwing up, is maybe I should treat it more like... Ah... Uh, almost float fishing in a way, like... Nope, touching bottom there. I don't know if I should just keep, like, steadily cast out, reel in, cast out, reel in, or I should let the uh, lure sit in the water just for a while. I was kind of hoping to have a little bit more results by now, but... Okay, maybe I gotta go back to... Let me try this spinner bait here. It's the last one we haven't used yet, and just see if this gets us anything. Yeah, I don't think line's being taken out, because it doesn't look like it's going around just as it's, like, being taken. Let's do 25. And uh, maybe a lower friction break. Oh, actually, that probably explain why no line was going out. The friction break might have been too high. Yeah, I was kind of expecting to see, like, the line would be going off the reel as it was, like, set. But there's no friction break in place, or there wasn't there. <laughs> yeah, not the turnout I was expecting for our start here. Like, I thought maybe we'd get a few more fish right off the bat with trying this out, but... Okay, I think the one that worked best... Might have been this one. I think the one we started with. I'll try this and see. Maybe I have to go into examining each of these, uh, like, spinners and see, like, their best use, or... 
kind of like what's recommended for how you go. Like, do some you want to constantly be reeling in, others do you want to stop and go twitch with it, etc. Just try and see, or read up what I can with it. I'll give it a couple more casts and then try reading up to see. And I'm also going to quickly try taking off the leader. See if that changes anything for us. I mean, I might have to buy new tackle, but I, if the leader does have an impact where it is reducing the amount of fish we might be able to get in, it might be more worth it to uh, not use it. Well, we'll just give it us another cast after this, and then I'll try reading up on the... things I've got. Yeah, like, there are, like, real tweaks to the end of the line there at times, but I don't think it's, like, a fish on. I think it's just the tension catching up with the lure, or whatever you want to call the tackle. Okay, let me do some reading, because this doesn't seem right. Like, there's different lengths there. I wonder if the hook size is too big. Like, that's on a medium hook, apparently. That's a large. That's a large. <sighs> maybe... Let me try that and see. Is Maybe the hooks are too big here. I mean, I know it's a bit silly to think, but... I mean, I've been seeing, like, next to nothing strike, so I've got to try changing up somehow. So let's quickly hit the tackle store. I think it's this one. Yeah. Okay. Do, 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 do. So we're looking for hooks. Um, Classic. Carp offset. We're not looking for jig heads. Are they treble? Yeah, I think this is what we're looking for. So, let's see. Okay, well... That goes medium to extra large, so let me try... Oh, but they are kind of expensive at six. Okay, you know what? I'll pick one of those up. And medium is the smallest they start with. I'll just start with the one and see if there's, like, any better odds with that. Okay, so what do we got on right now? Okay, let me take that off. So let's say we keep using, uh, I think it's this one here. Yeah, we'll try that and see. If we can get any better luck with it. Alright, there's the little pier down here, and with it becoming daylight, maybe we'll get a little bit better luck, too. So we'll just try maybe a couple casts and then end this episode off. Maybe also try casting more towards, like, where uh, the reeds in that are. Maybe I'll also slow down the retrieval speed. Let's say down to 15. It's going to make it pretty slow to bring in, but maybe that'll 
Ah, false optimism, it'll let the fish strike a little bit more easily. Okay, there's got to be something big I'm... Oh! Well, right at the very end we got somebody. Actually, kind of surprised that we got a pike. Yeah, I'm go going to say, there's got to be something I'm missing out on for, like, how this is going. Let me just try to get it out of the reeds there. Because you can actually snag your tackle in the game. So that's something that you'll have to keep in mind, is you might actually have to buy and replace the lure that you've got on your line. Nothing that time. This'll be the last cast. We'll try and see. Yeah, I feel like there's some... There's something I'm missing. I don't know what it is. If it's, um... I've got to let the line sink more. Maybe I'll try that next episode. Let it sink more before I try reeling it in. But we'll end this episode right here for now. We've at least got a little bit of fish. Not a lot, but at least it's something, right? So thank you guys for joining me on this episode of Russian Fishing 4. If you did enjoy the video and you have plenty of tips to leave, be sure to give us a like and comments with all of them right down below. With us tackling another fishing type, there's a lot still to learn with it and figure it out. But thank you guys for watching, and until I do catch you in the next video or episode, anglers and survivors, please remember, as always, to take care, stay alive, and happy angling.